Hey YouTube, today we want to take a look at this Charbroil 51 inch true infrared grill. It's a stainless grill that's a commercial grade. It's made from stainless steel and just um, black painted steel. So we want to take a look at it, take a look at the burners, just see how it's constructed and see if it was worth the price. So let's get to it. So taking a look at this grill we see like usual there's a thermometer on the outside the body is really stainless with some black painted steel it is 51 inches wide from edge to edge but this label here says we should use a 65 inch grill cover I'm actually gonna try a 62 inch grill cover and see if that works well the sides are stainless the, the firebox is uh, painted steel it seems to be painted with uh, temperature resistant paint there's a burner on the side that we probably almost would never use uh, the three burners and down below is where the gas tank is and there's actually a little gauge that shows how much gas there's left. So let's take a look at the guts of this thing now. The grates seem to be cast iron coated with some sort of high temperature coating. I can't tell if it's really porcelain, ceramic, or if it's just a high, high temperature type paint. It doesn't seem to be a high temperature type paint because it has a little bit of texture to it. So it might be some sort of porcelain or, or ceramic coating. Underneath, the grate. Let's see if I can lift this up. This is the infrared grill. This is what this is what allows the grill to cook evenly. Rather than the flames licking up against your meat or whatever you're trying to grill, the heat actually comes through these little pores here. And it supposedly, all at least all the reviews that I've read, allows the food to be cooked a whole lot more evenly with a whole lot less propane. The top rack, this is just a regular steel rack that's painted with some high temperature paint. It's very smooth, very shiny, just like what you'd expect for something that's going way high up. So taking a look at the inside, at the guts of this thing, these flame shields, they're actually a decent quality stainless. It looks stainless, it feels stainless, it feels pretty heavy. The burners are stainless, but they still anchor down by these little pins, which it's not quite as nice as like say a Weber grill, but the burners at least this time on this grill the burners are stainless. In the last commercial grill we had, the burners weren't stainless, they were just steel that were coated with some sort of high temperature coating, and they rust out relatively quickly. Hopefully these would last a little bit longer. You could see at the bottom of the firebox there's actually a drip a drip area where all the stuff the drippings from food or meat or whatever would actually run down and then I'll show you where that, get, where that gets collected in just a little bit three burners looks nice and clean high temperature coat over the steel construction with stainless should last a long time the last one we had actually lasted eight or nine years so we're expecting about seven or eight years out of this one too let's take a look at the underside a little bit now so underneath, I don't know if you can see it very well, this drip pan, and that's actually removed. So you can, you can pull this out. It's probably best to just go ahead and line this with some sort of foil or something, so it's easy to clean and get rid of all the drippings. But it just comes out relatively easy. Let's put it back in. It goes back in relatively easy too. Let's check this gas gauge out and see if it actually works. So this tank is used a little bit. The grill's brand new tank's used a little bit. So yep, sure does work. See the gauge go up, is about halfway full. So we're gonna have this grill outside in the outdoors. So I purchased this Traub Royal 62 inch uh, grill cover to go over it. Let's check it out. Let's open it up, put it on the grill and see how it covers it up. 
So the cover fits over this grill pretty nicely. Even though it's a little bit oversized, this grill is a 51 inch grill and this is a 62 inch grill cover. It fits pretty nicely, there's some Velcro around the side. I don't know if you can see it, there's some Velcro around the side. That makes it fit nice and snug. And if we use this thing, this grill should give us a few years worth of service. All right, so there you have it, folks. My initial look at this Charbroil True Grill, or True Infrared Three Burner Grill. It's a commercial series. This is the second commercial series Charbroil Grill that we've had. The first one lasts about seven or eight years, and hopefully this one could last about seven or eight years too. We don't like keeping them any more than that, so that's why we purchased a, a, a Charbroil. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention earlier was that this thing does come with an infrared cleaner which is meant to clean in between those infrared grooves that we saw earlier. Next step is to grill up some chicken and uh, hopefully I'll have a review then as to how it works. Until then, please subscribe if you like and see you on the next video.